I'm Emily Moshak, and you're listening to Tuned In to NoCo, Town Square Media's show that lets you know what matters in NoCo. I'm talking today with Jim O'Neill, the co-chair of the fourth annual Gingerbread House Decorating Event with the Fort Collins Eye Openers Kiwanis Club. So thank you for coming in. But before we get into the event, I would love to know a little bit about the club. For those who are unfamiliar, can you tell me what is the Fort Collins Eye Openers Kiwanis Club? Sure. So, uh, Emily, it's great to be here today with you. It's great to have Town Square Media as one of, as our media sponsor. So the Eye Openers Kiwanis is a service club, and we've been uh, in Fort Collins for since 1973. And Kiwanis goes back all the way to 1915, I believe. But basically, we do, our goal is children are number one. And so we sponsor key clubs in the high schools. Uh, we like to do uh, projects with a lot of nonprofits. And part of what we like to do is, like the Gingerbread House, it will raise money, but then we turn, in turn, give that money to nonprofits. And we like to help them. Like if they need a wall painted or a wall put up or something like that, we could pay for the materials. We also like to get our hands uh, dirty and, and uh, do a little sweat equity with that, too. Our members are uh, got about 40 people and really enthusiastic about helping uh, nonprofits and especially those that have to deal with children. That is awesome. And what inspired you to join the club? What has your experience been like? Well, a long time ago when I came to town, I was looking for to get involved and to meet some nice people. And I started with the Alpners Kiwanis a guy named Jack Gianola got me involved and just been doing it ever since. It's really neat. And then about um, five years ago, we partnered uh, with the Center for Family Outreach to do the Gingerbread House, and they didn't want to do it anymore, so then we took it over. So this is our fourth year doing it alone, and it's really a fun event. People decorate the houses, and then they're displayed at the mall and running until the 20th. So it's really just adds to that holiday spirit. I know I myself, my family likes to decorate our house the day after Thanksgiving. It's really become a family tradition. Yes, that sounds like so much fun. And now last year when we talked, I know the event was virtual because of COVID, but this year it's in person. What's going on? What do we need to know? Okay, so so at the event, mainly it all started with COVID, but we delivered houses to businesses, to sponsors, to uh, boys and girls clubs, to the, the uh, mission, which I, now I think is Samaritan House, to decorate on their uh, own time and then to bring them to the mall. And then they're displayed for about uh, three weeks, two and a half weeks, I think it is, from the 4th to the 20th. By being uh, virtual, by letting you decorate your house at your own time, you're able to add different things to it and besides just uh, the candy that we provide. And some of the businesses that have decorated are just out of this world. We had uh, houses by um, Markley Motors last year was a fire engine. Uh, the Bank of Colorado, who is one of our big sponsors this year, uh, they built a fire station, which is pretty amazing out of the gingerbread. And we had, um, did I mention Woodward? Anyway, they had their uh, quarry barn on their property. It was all lit up and it had a, a windmill on it too, a, 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 a wind generating tower it, out of lights. And Peterson Toyota had uh, their um, um, th- their cars on there. So it's, it's just really pretty neat to see what businesses have come up with and kind of become a tradition, I think, for a lot of these businesses. The houses ha- are being delivered now. They would decorate them between now and December the 4th, deliver them to the mall on December the 4th at 4 p.m., by the um, north entrance, and then we're going to have them displayed in that front hallway, which will be right before you get to Santa. I mean, you'll see the houses, and then Santa will be down at the other end of the mall. So be, I think it be a pretty cool experience for everybody. Well, I cannot wait to see the gingerbread houses displayed, but like you said earlier, the Fort Collins Eye Openers Kiwanis Club benefits children here in northern Colorado. Can you tell me about some of your specific programs? Right, right. We do a fishing derby each, um, oh, usually May. Sometimes it's moved to September for about 150 kids where we provide uh, the fishing gear and the uh, a lunch and try to in- encourage kids to fish. We also packed about 50,000 meals for Colorado Feeding Kids 
And those meals, we had about 200 volunteers, which was fantastic. And we packed about 50,000 meals, and half of them went to Well County Food Bank, and half of them went to Larimer County Food Bank. So that's another really good big project. And we we support, um, like I said, a number of nonprofits in their work. We also partner with you, Town Square Media, for the Taste of Fort Collins. The Kiwanis provides the volunteer, and then we provide uh, the volunteers to uh, for all the beverage services. And of course, this year, I think we were the only festival in town, and that was really fantastic. So we were glad to be back in town with that event. Well, hearing this, I'm sure some of our listeners will want to get involved. How can they maybe donate to or volunteer with Kiwanis? So um, with the website that I that I gave you, yes, we would. We're always looking for people that want to become members. We meet uh, the first. Uh, I'm sorry. We meet every Thursday at Associates in Family Medicine, uh, their conference room on Riverside, and but we also meet with Zoom. We have some people joining us on Zoom, but we also have a second Sunday, which is a Sunday uh, afternoon where people that really don't have time during the week to, to meet, they can come and join in, and we do always do a little project. So that's really cool. We've got some new members. Of course, we're always looking for people that just, like if you want to volunteer for Taste of Fort Collins or the food packing event, that you could get on our volunteer list. So that's really uh, just trying to spread the word about Kiwanis. Jim, I want to thank you for coming in again. It's always great to have you. Is there anything else you would like our listeners to know? Well, let's see. I I just wanted to thank a couple of our sponsors, especially the Bank of Colorado is going to be a candy sponsor this year, and they're going to have a contest between all of their branches in uh, northern Colorado. So that's going to be really cool to see what they can come up with. And, of course, Town Square Media, the the Foothills Mall, you know, they they let us display the houses. And, of course, the Eye Openers Kiwanis is uh, is big in that. So just... um, Really thank everybody that's been sponsoring for so many years. And then some of our um, new sponsors that are uh, coming along, like Scott International and uh, Speed Pro and, uh, and, and Smart Shred. So those are just some of, the, some of our newer sponsors. But we've got um, uh, Otter Cares is helping us out again this year. The Commercial Coding is Chadwick Electric, Da Vinci Signs, Dobbs Excavating, Dellenbaugh Motors, a longtime sponsor, Great Guns, Balance Point, Lamar's Donuts going to be a new one this year. Kind of excited to see what they're going to come up with. Anderson Engineering's been a longtime sponsor. Peterson Garrettson CPA. And anyway, just a, and a lot of uh, individual people are are helping out with this event too. That they just think it's great that what the funds go towards. And so they, um, besides decorating the house, if they don't want to decorate a house, they're donating money and then having all of the uh, key clubs in the high schools. They have a contest. And see, so let's, let's Fort Collins High won one year. Last year was, um, I believe, Liberty Commons. So we're, there's a competition going there with the between the circle uh, of the key clubs in the high school. So that's really cool, too. Well, thank you again, Jim, for coming in. I know we cannot wait to see all the houses this year. Really appreciate, Emily. Appreciate all the support of, um, of uh, Town Square Media. And you guys have three houses, so... I know last year you divided it up among the different uh, stations, and so I'm I'm really excited to see what you all are going to come up with this year as well. Again, that was Jim O'Neill, the event co-chair of the fourth annual Gingerbread House Decorating Event. You can see the houses at Foothills Mall starting on December 4th, and you can learn more at fortcollinseyeopenerskiwanis.org.